Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. Here we've got the Boshat Shark Diving Mask. So this is a low volume mask, uh, twin lenses, but with that low volume, it's more designed for apnea free diving. You can still wear it while scuba diving if you wanted to, but with the frameless low volume, it's really reducing that internal volume. So you don't have to equalize your mask quite as often as you dive down. Uh, well put together, let's take a closer look. This is how it arrives in a pretty traditional mask box. Um, yeah, nothing uh, sort of unusual about that. Open up the top and then inside you have the mask. You get a little uh, sort of paper tab. Um, just notice about the, uh, the mask. There's just gonna be safety information, the usual stuff. Um, you've got a couple um, stickers on the lenses that will just peel straight off. Uh, so yeah, let me tidy up and we can take a closer look at the mask itself. So the mask itself is a low volume mask. It's made to be as compact and close to the face as possible. So it's gonna minimize the amount of squeeze effect that you get as you start to dive down. So this is more for free divers and spear fishermen, but yeah, you can also use it with um, uh, on scuba if you wanted to. It does have a, a fairly good field of vision whilst you're wearing it because those, those lenses are that much closer to your eyes. It actually opens up the field of vision a little bit more. Um, the nose pocket itself, it has a thicker section of silicone over the front of your nose and underneath, but on the sides it's much thinner and it's texturized as well. So it's much softer, easier to, uh, to equalize. And if you're using a, a nose plug, something to, uh, to pinch on your nose. It, it's just much easier and a bit more comfortable. The lenses themselves, these are tempered glass, but they're ultra clear glass. So they've had a lot of the impurities that you usually find in cheaper glasses. Um, they've had all of those impurities removed. So it allows for a better amount of light transmission and a truer representation of what you're seeing underwater. This is very much sort of optical grade glass. So it's allowing real colors to come through and they're untainted by impurities that you get on cheaper glasses. This is frameless. You don't have a frame, so the silicone skirt is over molded onto the actual glass, uh, and that helps to reduce that internal volume as well. And the mask buckles are attached onto the silicone skirt, so that allows them to bend and flex a little bit and have that mask strap where you want it on the back of your head. Micro adjustment on the straps, lots of little teeth on this. So you can pull that strap to get it to the exact length that you want it to. And if you want to lengthen it off, you just pull on this little tab and that lengthens it off as you pull on the strap. Strap retainers as well. These are pretty snug to really hold that strap so it's not flapping around on the side of your head. And on the back of the strap, the strap is pretty cool. It's um, uh, it's kind of a modified version of the traditional double strap along the back. So it creates that cradle. It also has this like concertina section at the back so that it just allows it to bend and flex on the back of your head to hold onto it. And you've got these texturized section again, just adding a little bit of grip to really hold that strap exactly and, uh, and hold your mask in the right position. On the inside of the mask, um, double internal seal. So you have this external seal, the internal one that creates a very wide sealing surface all the way around your face to keep the air on the inside and keep the water out. And otherwise, yeah, nice low volume. Uh, you've got this big cutout uh, in between the lenses as well. So if you do struggle with finding masks that are uncomfortable just over the top of your nose, uh, this has a bit of additional space. Um, but yeah, all in all, very well put together and good looking little mask. And that's the Boshat Shark Mask. So who's this for? It's really designed for free divers and spear fishermen, um, but yeah, snorkeling and scuba diving, I'd be quite happy diving with it as well. It's low volume, so that's gonna help prevent that squeeze effect as you go down. But otherwise, I very much like the style of it and the overall finish is very good. You've got these um, sort of mixtures of matte and this gloss finish to the skirt uh, that just gives it a really nice look and, uh, and feel. I do like that nose pocket as well, makes it a lot easier to, uh, to equalize. And um, yeah, the mask strap as well is, uh, is just nice. They put a lot of attention to detail in this mask and it's a really good looking mask. Now, there's going to be more information on our website, simplyscuba.com. There's going to be a link down in the description below and a little card up here that's popped up. Click on that. i will take you over to simplyscuba.com where you can buy it from us. Thank you for watching, everybody. And of course, safe diving.